is yet another good time that the Lord has given unto us. We bless his holy name. This is the man in Christ show. My name is Pastor Renard Munuve, and today I'm joined by my brother. I will introduce himself, tell us his names, where he is, where he ministers, and then we'll move on from there. Welcome, my brother. Amen. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. My name is Pastor Japheth Mosila. Uh, Senior pastor, I'm a residential pastor of the Receive Miritimi branch. I thank God to be here in this show. Hope you will be blessed. Amen. Amen. Before we continue, let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you for this good time that you have given unto us as we look at the scriptures and know of our identity and know that we are in Christ. I pray that will open our eyes of understanding. Let the entrance of your word bring light to the glory of your name. Help us to speak with clarity this day. In Jesus' name, we pray and believe. Amen. 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 Welcome again to this exciting show. I've got no doubt that you will be blessed. We'll go straight into our scripture in the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter number 5, and verse number 17. Mm. And it says, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Mm. If anyone <clears throat> is in Christ Jesus. And for today, we'll discuss just that one scripture. Uh, of course, we might build it up with some others uh, just to back it up and for better understanding. But I want us to... Start with that portion that if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. And Pastor Jaffer, if you can start by maybe explaining to us and making us understand what does he mean by the new creation? Amen. Uh, the new creation is a apostle Paul way of communication mm. of uh, introducing the finished work of Christ, yeah. the work of redemption. Yeah. Uh, by revelation, we understand that uh, in the book of Galatians chapter 1, mm. verses 11 mm -hmm. and 12, you can read for us, my brother. Verse 11, he says, mm. But I make known to you, brethren, mm -hmm. that the gospel which was preached by me is not according to man, mm -hmm. for I neither received it from man, mm -hmm. nor was I taught it, but it came through the revelation of Jesus Christ. Amen. Yeah. So Paul makes a claim yeah. that his preaching and his gospel was not according to man. Mm. He says he neither received it uh, from man, mm. he was not even taught it even by the disciples who were with Jesus in the flesh. Yeah. He says it came to him through revelation of Jesus Christ. Yeah. So when we are reading Paul, mm. we are actually reading revelation. Yeah. What Christ revealed to him. Yeah. So after death, burial, and resurrection, mm. Paul comes out very boldly. Mm. And he declares that the man who has believed yeah. in Christ, mm. the man who has believed uh, the redemptive work of Jesus, mm. that man is in Christ. Mm. And that man is a new creature. Mm. New creature, not, not, not reformed, mm. not refurbished, mm. is a new creature. Creature. Yeah. And then it says, behold. Mm. Yeah? Yeah. All things have passed away. Mm. And behold, all things have become new. Yeah. So uh, you can only understand uh, Apostle Paul by revelation. Yeah. Because this is not human wisdom. Yeah. It is revealed wisdom that once a man gives his life to Jesus, mm. he is in Christ. So to be born again is to be 
in Christ. In Christ. Okay. Yes. So it talks of this new creature. Mm -hmm. That means if it's a new creature, there has been a creation of something new. Mm -hmm. And what is it that is created anew? Or what is it that now is born again? Uh, it is the <coughs> spirit man mm. of the believer. Yeah. You remember um, in creation, mm. uh, First Corinthians chapter 5, because we will quote several verses. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, First Corinthians chapter 15 mm. and verses 45. Okay. Mm. First Corinthians 15 mm. and verse 45, he says, And so it is written, mm. The first man, Adam, mm. became a living being. Mm -hmm. The last, Adam, became a life-giving spirit. Amen. Mm. So, we understand that uh, in creation, mm. man became a living soul, mm. not a living spirit. Yeah. So, we can understand now what is new in man mm. who is born again. Yeah. You get that? Yeah. So, uh, Paul says it is written the first man, Adam, mm. or the first Adam was made a living soul. Mm. What is a soul? A soul is a, a, your, your will, your, mind. Mm -hmm. your mind, and your emotions. Your emotions, yeah. So, uh, the life that Adam had in the garden, mm. he operated in the realm of soul. Yeah. In the realm of a, 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 a intellectual mm. knowledge and understanding, mm. Adam didn't have access to the life of the spirit mm. because uh, uh, the Bible tells us that he was a living soul. Mm. But this, but the last Adam was made a life-giving spirit. Life-giving spirit. Yes. Okay. That's, well, that's when you see there was. A trees in the garden, mm. the tree of life, yeah, and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, yeah, and we understand that uh, both trees were were food, mm. were to be eaten, mm. but God instructed the man Adam what not to eat and what to, what eat. to eat, yeah. Then he made a choice. Mm. Out of his choice, he ate the tree which God commanded him not to eat. Not to eat. Yeah. And then he became dead spiritually. Mm. He was alive in his soul, mm. but without relationship with God. Mm -hmm. So the tree of life, which now John comes to explain in John chapter 1, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and mm. the word was God. Yeah. Then in verse 4, he says, in him was life. Was life. Mm. And the life was the light of man. Mm. So where do we see life in the beginning? Because the beginning is Genesis. Mm. We see life in the garden of mm. Eden, mm. in a form of a tree. Yeah. So now we are meant to understand by the Holy, Spirit, Holy Ghost, that that tree of life mm. was actually Jesus, Jesus Christ in the garden. Okay. So Adam rejected Christ mm. and he chose Satan. Mm -hmm. He became spiritually dead. dead. Mm. So he had no spirit. Mm. Right? Yeah. Now, when Jesus now dies, mm. And he is risen from the dead. Yeah. The promise of giving out the spirit to all flesh mm. was fulfilled. Yeah. Therefore, anyone who believes in Christ Jesus, mm. they stand to receive that promise of the spirit. Mm. So if any man be born again, or if any man be in Christ, mm. is a new creature. Mm. The new creature in that man 
is the spirit, the spirit whom he receives yeah. upon salvation. All right. Yes. Is this the prayer that uh, David was making in Psalms 51? Mm -hmm. I read Psalm 51 and verse number 10. Mm -hmm. When he says, create in me a clean heart, O God. Yes. And renew a steadfast spirit within me. Exactly. Yeah. That was the prayer now David had. Yeah. Because all the Old Testament prophets mm. and all men of God. Yeah. They were men of God. They were made righteous mm. by faith. They believed in the promise of redemption, which was to come. Which was to come. God was working with them, mm. but God was not dwelling in them. In them. Yeah. Yes. So when David says, create in me mm. a new spirit, yeah, or a clean spirit, yeah. he was making a claim mm. of the indwelling of the Holy Spirit yeah. upon a belief. Ah, correct. Yes, so this one also is what uh, Peter says concerning these prophets, that they wanted this life. They wanted to be part of it. But then they, they did not, because no one could be in Christ before Jesus has come in the flesh, mm. died on the cross to be able to receive the salvation. Yeah, First Peter yeah. 1, 10. Yes. To 12. Maybe, yeah. He says, of this salvation, yeah. the prophets have inquired and searched, yeah. carefully or prophesied of the grace that would come to you. Yeah. So now Peter, because Peter stands on a higher platform of revelation and insight mm. than the prophets. And the prophets. Because he had been with Christ, mm. whom the prophets prophesied about. Yeah. So he makes us to know that in their prophecies mm. was the promise of grace yeah. which was to come. Mm. That grace was to bring us salvation, yeah. redemption, and the forgiveness of sin. Yeah. Verse 11 says, searching what or what manner of time mm. the spirit of Christ yeah. who was in them yeah. was indicating when he testified before and the sufferings of Christ and the, and the glory that would follow. Yeah. To them, it was revealed that not to themselves, but, but to, to us, us who were ministering the things which now have been reported to you through those who have preached the gospel mm. to you by the Holy Spirit sent from heaven, things which angels desire to look into. Okay. Exactly. Amen. Mm. Um, Still back to our scripture yes. in uh, in Second Corinthians, mm -hmm. Second Corinthians chapter number five mm -hmm. and verse number seventeen. Mm -hmm. He says, "If anyone is in Christ, mm. and by the way, that anyone that means no one is excluded, exactly, because sometimes there are, there are people who preach the kind of a gospel as if there are already whom um." marked out for salvation and others condemned from birth like this one cannot be. But I believe the scripture here makes it wide open. So anyone can believe, anyone can get salvation. Definitely yes, because uh, uh, when John is introducing Christ mm. in John 1, 29, yeah. he says, behold, mm. the Lamb of God yes. who takes away mm. The sins of the world. Of the world. Where is man? In the world. In the world. Mm. For God so loved the world, the world that he gave his only begotten God son. son. Yes. That's whomsoever believe. Whomsoever. Whomsoever. Anyone. <coughs> Anyone. Thank you. For all <coughs> have sinned and fall short. For all. 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 Mm. Yeah. Whomsoever. All. Behold the Lamb of God. Yeah. So regardless of religion, tribe, mm. kindred, every man is a candidate of salvation. And that is the will of God. That is the will of according God. According to scripture. Yes. That all men might be saved. Exactly. Amen. So he says that he's a new creation mm. and all things have passed away. Mm. 
<coughs> all things have passed away. Mm. Maybe if you can enlighten us more concerning that, because we need to understand. What are the old things yes, yes. which have passed away? What are those old things that have passed away? Number one, it includes our old identity. Mm. Ephesians chapter 4, mm. Paul takes time to explain that. Mm. Yeah? Yeah. Ephesians chapter 4, verses, we can begin verse 17. Okay. Mm. He says, this I say, mm. therefore, and testify in the Lord that you should no longer walk as the rest of the Gentiles walk mm -hmm. in the futility of their mind. We should no longer walk <coughs> mm. as the Gentiles walk. Yeah. You get the word walk. Yes. How does they walk? In mm. the futility of their, mind. of their minds. Yeah. So where are the ways of the Gentiles? Mm -hmm. In the way they think. In the way they think. You get it. Yeah. So one of the things that uh, salvation will do mm. to a man, mm. it is to affect his thinking process. Yeah. Which comes by the renewing mm. of the mind. Yeah. Through the word of God. Through the word of God. So your mind can only be renewed mm. if you have eternal life within. Mm. Without eternal life within, it you, don't, you don't qualify for renewal. They say here in verse 18, mm. having their understanding darkened. Yeah. So understanding can be darkened. If it can be darkened, it can be enlightened as well. Actually, that's what happened to Adam. Mm. Yeah. It is called spiritual darkness yeah yeah mm. so that darkness mm. can only be dealt with by the life of god in the mind. remember it is spiritual darkness mm. so it can only be eliminated yeah by spiritual light yeah you remember in acts 18 mm. verse 26 yeah when jesus was commissioning paul mm. uh, paul was giving his that testimony of his encounter with Jesus mm. before King Agrippa. Yeah. And he says to him, when he sent me, this is what he told me to go and do. Mm. Number one, to, to turn men, mm. to turn men, men from darkness to light, to light. And from the power of Satan mm. to God. Yeah. That they may receive forgiveness of sin mm. and an in Heritance among them that are sanctified mm. by faith in me. Yeah. So it is possible mm. for man yeah. to walk out of the regions of darkness mm. to enter the kingdom of light. Yeah. Yes. What are these old things? Let me bring out several. One mm. is our old identity before yes. we finish Ephesians. Yes. The second one is life of sin. Yes. The third one is the power of Satan. Yeah. Number four is our religious works of trying to please God. Mm. Then we have our old relationship with the world mm. and our old mindsets. Yeah. Yes. So in new creation, mm. we are not reformed. We are, we are not reformed or simply refurbished, mm. we are made completely new by our union with Christ yeah. and the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Yes, sir. Completely new. Completely new. That means that we do not, because he says the old things have passed away. Yes. But man has got this tendency of holding on to the past things. Yes. So we like to identify ourselves even with our past failures, by our past mistakes, mm -hmm. by our past way of life, sometimes even not our lives, lives others have lived, they failed, but we still want to identify with them, uh, ourselves with what they went through mm -hmm. or the things they, they put on themselves. Mm -hmm. Is that some of the ways that it tells us that all that is passed away? Um, because he's, he's, uh, he's saying us here uh, that all things are passed away. Now, if, if, if all things are passed away, 
is there a limit to what is of the old that has passed away so that some passes away, others remain, or this man in Christ is a completely <laughs> a new being? You see, we must allow the scripture to speak to us. Yeah. If anyone is in Christ, he is mm. a new creation. Yeah. New means new. Yeah. A new kind of being mm. that has not been there before. Yeah. That's why we are given, there are names that the Bible gives to us. Mm. When we get born again, yeah. number one, we are called children of God. Mm. We are called the righteousness of God in Christ. Mm. Yeah, Those are names which try to bring out our new identity. Mm. Though physically you appear the same, the same. person, yeah. your color didn't change mm. when you got born again. Yeah. Your tribe did not change yeah. when you got born again. The, the language you spoke before you got born again is the same language you it's speak. the same language you speak. Where you are living, probably, your dwelling place, your physical environment, to the same. Assume, yeah. Your nationality is still the same. Yeah. But there is a new life. Inside of you. Inside of you. Mm. That life is what now brings a shift mm. from you being uh, a human being yeah. to a child of God. Now, that's now where the word of God becomes of great importance now mm. that we settle down and begin to study this new life yeah. which we have received in our old life. Yeah. Yes. That is very correct. Yes, sir. And very enlightening. Uh, this thing of, of new because, you see, you can have a new glass mm -hmm. like this one. Mm but of this same kind, mm -hmm. a new glass, but of the same kind. Mm -hmm. You can have a completely new model of it or, um, or, or um, a, a completely new one that is not of this type. Mm -hmm. So when he says that, because there's a need for us to, to separate this thing, mm -hmm. because remember we carried the old nature. Yes. But many of the times we import the old into the new. Mm -hmm. uh, if we have come into the new life, mm -hmm. if we have come into the new life mm -hmm. by the virtue of our, our belief in Christ Jesus, mm -hmm. we can read Matthew 12, mm -hmm. Matthew 12, verse mm -hmm. 33. Mm -hmm. He tells us, mm -hmm. either make the tree good mm -hmm. and its fruit good, mm -hmm. Or else make the tree bad mm -hmm. and its fruit bad. Mm -hmm. A tree is known by its fruit. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to use this one mm -hmm. uh, just to speak to this new man, mm -hmm. new creation. Mm -hmm. Let's call him a tree. He either lives <laughs> in the new life that he's in, but the scripture calls us trees of righteousness. Mm -hmm. So he either lives in the new life that is in him, mm -hmm. or he will still be limited by his old, old nature that he thinks he has carried to this new life. He was a man full of fear. Mm -hmm. He is born again. Mm -hmm. He must shed fear mm -hmm. and receive the boldness of God. Mm -hmm. He was living controlled by the flesh, mm -hmm. but now he must be under the control of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. He was a man who tried to please God Mm -hmm. by his works, mm -hmm. he now has to learn about grace. So there is a need to completely embrace the new. Mm -hmm. uh, because if we do not do that, then this man, though he is born again, and men are limited by that, mm -hmm. they are born again, mm -hmm. but still their lives are a lives of limitations. We, we must agree mm -hmm. that all those that are born again have not been able to come to the full light. Yeah. Full assurance mm. of their new nature in Christ. Yeah. Now, using your example of a tree mm. in Matthew uh, chapter 12, 
you also need to understand that uh, uh, everything that Jesus said, spoke, and he did, mm. he did that before his crucifixion, mm. before his death, yeah. before his uh, raising from the dead. Mm. So Paul answers that question. Mm. In Romans 11, I think we would need to go and take time yeah. and study. When he speaks about the, the, the grafting mm. of the tree. Yeah. You get that? Yeah. He says to the Gentiles that we were a tree in the forest. Mm. Yeah? Yeah. But now, God allowing the grace of God to come to us, mm. that there was an end grafting. Yeah. So this tree now, which uh, it is known by its fruit, mm. something happened to that tree mm. when we believed in the gospel. Mm. There was a deposit yeah. of something we didn't have, mm. which now becomes the source of our production. Yeah. You get? Yeah. So that new life that you have received mm. becomes now the source. Yeah. So uh, we should, we should uh, uh, direct our life mm. from the deposit of the source we received. Yeah. The new life in Christ, yeah. which has no fear mm. or failure, which has no genetic problems. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because now, genetic problems, they mm. travel through blood. Mm. And it is true, man in Christ, mm. if you are born again and your mind is not properly renewed in truth, mm. there can be a transfer of genetic problems through your mind. Mm. And when they possess your mind, they will dominate your body. Yeah. Remember, when you mm. go to hospital, you learn from doctors that 80 to 90 percent mm. of the sickness people suffer from, mm. they are mind connected. Yeah. Because your mind will control your emotions. Mm. So you can be genetically attacked and tormented by things that are not supposed to be working mm. in you and through you. Mm by information. Yeah. So the renewing of the mind is key to connect to the new life that we are in. That we are in. Look at Matthew chapter number 9. Mm. Matthew chapter number 9 and verse 16. Mm -hmm. And maybe you can explain it to us. No one puts a piece of unshrunk cloth mm. on an old garment. Mm -hmm. For the patch pulls away from the garment and the tear is made why was mm. sorry. Mm -hmm. Is this part of what we are talking about? Of course, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can't use the old nature yeah. to explain the new. Exactly. You must allow the new nature, the new nature. Yeah, to expose the old nature yeah. and to take it away. Amen. Yes. Thank you. Yes, sir. We are in the show, The Man in Christ, and I believe that you are being enlightened by the grace of God. We will take a short break, and then when we come, we shall be able to continue from there. The scripture tells us to behold the new things. Behold, all things have become new. Mm. It is important, as he has told us, that we cannot use the old to explain the new. We must use the new to, to expose the old. And for us to realize the kind of life that we have been put in by our virtue of our faith in Christ Jesus. So Hallelujah. I will encourage you, don't go any far. We'll be right back in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.